Collection Connect Shane. I make the great. I'm Miles Spoiler. Dave Tigerman Smith. Today we're going to be talking about the uh, Loyal Subjects Ninja Turtle Blind Boxes. Loyal Subjects. They, they also have done uh, G.I. Joe, Transformers, coming out with uh, Power Rangers, and a, uh, I got a heads up from someone uh, about something else they're going to be coming out with. Cool. I, I don't know if I, I'm, I'm allowed to say, but uh, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. Cool. Maybe we'll discuss it off screen. Maybe. All right, so these are the Wave 1 Action Vinyls. And, uh... Sleepy? Yes. <laughs> These are the Wave 1 action vinyls. And it looks like there's three chaser figures. You get a 1 in 24, a 1 in 48, and a 1 in 96. Do you have any idea what the chasers are? I know what all the chasers are. Oh, enlighten us. Uh, two of them are foot soldiers. Okay. And the middle one is actually April O'Neil. Nice. Our friendly neighborhood, uh... News reporter. Is it the classic yellow? Nope. Classic blue. Nice. Uh, classic -er than yellow? Yes. Uh, uh, the one thing I love about the designs on these figures, to start off with, is they're all modeled after the comic book. Um, I, Like I said before, I feel like they haven't really done enough of this out of everything Ninja Turtles. It's either out of the 80s cartoon, the new cartoon, or somewhere in between. This hits it right on the, the head right there. I love the designs. Can't go wrong. Yeah, the boxes are cool. The boxes are cool. And they're they're blind boxes, so you got to uh, take your chance as you're fishing. Yes, yes. Um, also, one thing is, is uh, the boxes, you know, they, they really don't show the full extent of these blind boxes. Um, yeah, they're all box art, so they don't yes. have actual pictures of the product. Which is weird because we were complaining with the Masterpiece Transformers. We were like, man, these ones with the box are yes. awesome. And yeah. these ones just have pictures of the yeah. toy. Yeah, um, I wish the box would show these more of the accessories and the, the full line kind of of what you're getting. Um, looking from the box, you, you, you expect just another vinyl figure. But uh, what you really get is really amazing um the accessories are awesome like michelangelo comes with two nunchucks a slice of pizza and then the rest of the pizza uh let's take him in for a full uh, better look um you're gonna see you want to go in front of the screen yes not you, the screen in front of the lens yeah you're gonna see you know the feet move the legs move the arms move the the wrists move and the head moves and so does the bandana in back, which I think is really awesome for uh, for a blind box figure. I have never seen this much uh, posability with just a blind box figure. Um, I wish they would have showed more of that in the, on the box art, because I would have bought it a lot sooner. Um, it's, especially with the uh, the price point being twelve ninety nine, if they would have showed that a little bit more. I'm sure a lot more people would jump onto it. Like at my shop, um, we, you know, we had the the full box for a little bit until I had one outside of the box and people could actually take a look at it and be like, "Wow, you're actually getting this much stuff for that price." It said the other way around. That's cool. What do you think of the figure spoiler? I think they're cool. Really? Yeah. What do you like about it? I like about the articulation and stuff. Articulation and stuff? The mouth kind of looks weird. But oh, it kind of gives it that style, though. A little bit of a, like a symphony. y yeah. Looks like a skeleton head. Awesome. Uh, out of the figures that you have here, the four that you have, I, I would say my favorite's the Splinter one. Splinter really surprised me. It's got the, um, you know, the walking stick, a really nice bow, and the paint. The paint's awesome on these two. 
and then you're not getting the cheap plastic, you're actually getting vinyl. So these yeah. look like they're really, really awesome. Got wrist articulation on splinter, wrist, uh, ball and socket, shoulder articulation. Which, again, in a blind box, we have never seen. We, yeah, these are, you can actually play with these. You can even do like a stop animation if you had the time to do it. We should. <laughs> uh, another thing I like is all the arrows come out yeah, individually. Yeah, all the arrows come out of the quiver individually. So that's cool. And I wonder, is the collection connection first to see if the arrow actually oh, shoots it does. from the bow? So if you want to go on a shooting spree with your splinter blind box, go for it. Okay, let's see. Leo, what does Leo got? Leo comes with uh, swords, a uh, the thing to put in the back. Sword sheath? Yep. Dual yeah. sheaths. And, dual swords. And dual ninja stars. Awesome. Which is really cool because that's one of his weapons he loves to use. I really want to see what the Raphael looks like, For being that he's my favorite turtle. Raphael looks cool. Um, unfortunately, I haven't got them yet, but I did get three doubles. <laughs> Who'd you get doubles of? Uh, Leonardo, Michelangelo, and Splinter. So if anyone out there wants to trade for any other ones that I don't have, feel free to comment, uh, subscribe, like, share, and uh, let me know. Sounds great. Okay, so um, where can we pick these up? You can pick them up at almost any store. You can pick them up online, but the best place is at Fat Collectibles. Now, could I get these, like, if somebody is not in Orange County and they aren't able to get them at Fat Collectibles, like local local comic book shop? I believe they should have them. Uh, how about, like, Toys R Us? You think so? Toys R Us, I don't think they have them there. I haven't checked. I haven't really had time to go anywhere else besides where I go. <laughs> um, but, I mean... You might be able to find them there, but the Loyal Subjects also has a website. Um, they're based out of LA. Uh, I believe they sell them on their website. Awesome. Good looking out. I also would like to do a, uh, a more in-depth uh, video about that company because I believe they're going to be the company that actually takes over the blind boxes. You know, it's been Kid Robot for so long and it's been just more the same, the same, the same. Then you got the mystery minis that, that are cool, but they're just little figures. Um, these, on the other hand, are just amazing. Yeah, I've been really late to the party. Actually, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to go to the party as far as the, um, the bobbleheads and pop figures and whatnot. You know, a lot of people in my collector's group, they're just head over heels for those things. You know, like what's going on with Loot Crate. I've seen a lot of these Loot Crates come out yeah. and unboxing for the Loot Crates. And a lot of the stuff looks cool, but, you know, one of the main draws is that they've got, like, those exclusive pop figures. Yeah. And I don't want to even get one of them. Maybe I'm late to the party on that, you know. Yeah, I got... If you hate me for that, you can comment below. Yeah, yeah I got three uh, pop figures. Oh, do you? Who'd you get? Bebop, Rocksteady, which were a gift, um, and Raphael with one arm, which is also a gift. Oh, nice. Yeah. Is your story behind it? Did you come? Did it's it's a. I'll, I'll tell you the story a little bit later. <laughs> okay. Terminator victim. Yeah. Okay, so we know what they are. We know where you can get them. We have an idea about the company, and we got spoiler alert: shooting the arrows. Let's see, how far can you shoot an arrow? Oh, nice. There you go. Right. Shot it's splinters in the head with his own yeah. arrow. Okay. So make sure we give them, give these guys to take a look at and see what's going on with the loyal subjects out of Live LA. Um, the Tiger Man is a big fan. Tiger Man's a big fan. I'm a big fan, too. I like these. These are great. Do you I think this will, this will get you into the, the blind box figures? Uh, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. The thing about me is when I get into things... Yeah. I go crazy. I'm cuckoo for Cocoa Bus when I go into things. Yeah. And I like to get everything yeah. of what I'm into. And there's so many things that I've dabbled in. Yeah, me, I, I don't do that at all. You don't do that, don't at, do all. that at all. <laughs> I have no Ninja Turtle stuff at all. No, I don't mean Ninja Turtles. Yeah. I mean, like, for instance, spoiler alerts, uh, Ninja Turtle collection. Yeah. 
You know, how many figures are there? Like 30? We have, what, like 24 of them? Yeah. So, <laughs> we've... Uh, you gotta catch them all. Gotta catch them all. Yeah, we've gone cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs on those, so... Yeah. You know, I go a little bit crazy when I get into things, and I don't necessarily know that if I'm that I'm willing to open up Pandora's mystery box yeah. just yet. But you know, as time goes by, I'm impressed by these definitely. Yeah. As far as uh, mystery box goes, and um, you know, the larger head figures, yeah. these are the most impressive I've seen. So I, I think so. this opens the door for more fans. Um, shoot Michelangelo. You know, uh, besides it. it this is the figures that are going to get people in that aren't in the blind boxes in the blind boxes. Sounds good. You know, the more the merrier. Okay, well, excellent. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe below. For the collection connection, I'm Nate the Great. I'm Dave Tigerman Smith. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.